Hey guys, good morning. We woke up very late today. Thank goodness my mom had the girls because <laughs> I didn't even wake up until 10. Literally when I opened my eyes, it was 10. But we didn't go to bed till 3, 3.30. We didn't get home till late. It was so much fun. We had a really good time the whole night. But we ended up playing pool. I didn't realize, I've played pool many, many times in my life. I didn't realize how bad I was at it. I literally only got out of everything, like, I maybe got three or four balls in, and we played a lot of games, right? Like, probably seven, eight. I only won by default. Whoever I was with, like, Jimmy and Melissa are much better at playing pool than I am. Andres is actually really good too, but mm -mm, that was awful, awful. And I don't think it was even the drinks. I just think I naturally don't have a talent for pool. But I hadn't played in such a long time, so, but it was a lot of fun. We had a really, really good time the whole night. It was definitely much needed. Um, I'm paying for it a little bit today, but it's okay. I didn't take my happiness. I saw somebody, one of the girls I follow on TikTok, she went out with her friends and the next day she was like, I borrowed my happiness from today for sure, but it was a lot of fun. I didn't borrow my happiness from today, but I'm, do you get it? You understand what that means? Like when you have fun the night before, you're taking your happiness from the next day because you either have a headache, you're hungover, your stomach hurts, you're throwing up, whatever the case may be. I'm, I didn't take my happiness from today, but I definitely borrowed just a little bit of it because I'm, I feel sluggish today. I woke up, I was missing an eyelash, end up in the bed, at, <laughs> just like whatever, but it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So we are uh, currently looking for something to eat. We stopped at Genghis Grill and didn't really love the menu, so we're going to another Mongolian stir-fry place for lunch, um, and then maybe running a couple of errands and then picking up the girls. They, it's cookie season officially. I have cookies. We need to pick up their cookie order, and we were supposed to do it today, but Bianca was like, don't worry, we have a Girl Scout meeting tomorrow, so I'll pick them up tomorrow. But yeah, we don't really need a ton of groceries, maybe some milk and eggs, I just like, shudder at the thought of having to buy more eggs with how expensive they are river city produce if you live in san antonio has had eggs for i want to say 15 dozen they just lowered the price i want to say it was 50 dollars or 45 because i think it was three dollars a dozen but they're medium sized eggs so i was considering getting those because 15 dozen sounds like a lot Right, like that sounds like a lot of eggs, but I mean, we go through eggs really, really fast. We use a dozen each meal, easy, easy. And especially medium-sized eggs, we probably would use more than a dozen. So I was really considering purchasing that, and then the blueberries are on sale again, and we're almost out of fresh fruit, berries and things like that. So I don't know that they're open today though. So I may have to go this week during lunch or something. And then I got a vlog up for you guys. I've been trying to stay steady with one vlog a week and one either grocery haul or cash stuffing. I have a cash stuffing I need to upload this week on my other channel, but I've been doing really good since the new year. I'm very, very proud of myself. One vlog a week is not. Ultimately, I would like to have two vlogs a week, one for each of my days off, but one a week is making progress <laughs> compared to what I was doing the four or five months prior to that. So I'm happy about that. And laundry all got done yesterday during the day. So cleaned up yesterday. The only thing I maybe if I have energy for is I want to get the downstairs under the under the stairs closet cleaned out because I did the laundry room, laundry room yesterday and that's my next project is the under the stairs closet. So we'll see. We're gonna go eat lunch and then maybe run a couple of errands and grab our girlies. Been seeing all the TikTok girlies go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx, so we're here to see what all the fuss is about. Probably nothing because ours are never good. Look at the pink luggage. Water bottles. They have Crocs. 
Dun, 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 dun. Maybe they have Crocs. <gasps> These ones are my size. Women's nine. <gasps> yes. <sighs> it's meant to be, baby. <laughs> They're $25. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think so too. I know, $25. That's so good, right? Yeah. Okay, I found a surplus of Crocs. Actually, I found everything. The only one I couldn't find was a pair for Emmy. She wears a women's eight. She may be able to do a women's nine, but it may be too big on her. So I found the fuchsia ones and these ones. Super cute. I just put them all in the cart. I don't know what I'm actually getting. Andres even found himself a pair of gray ones. And then I found two pairs for Autumn, one for Everly and one for Maddie. But they're the kind that have the fuzz in them. So I don't know if they're going to work for summertime because those make your feet kind of sweaty. But oh my gosh, they have so much stuff. I got Emmy a new silk cap. I got some foot peeling masks. Things probably I don't need, but... Now I'm in the beauty. The I've been wanting one of these little rollers that you put in the fridge. Like this, the quartz rollers. This is a dangerous store. I'm the best one to the bathroom. I'm like, leave the cart with me. I'll find some stuff. Okay, we got some things at Marshall's. Now we're at TJ Maxx. Oh, there's no carts. I've seen all kinds of little like cute purses and things on TikTok, but of course now that I'm here, I'm telling you my stores never have the things that everyone shows online. None of the cute Valentine's Day purses. Actually, this is one of the ones that I saw. $17. How cute is that? Super cute. Would I carry it? Probably not. But I do like the DKNY one. They have all different colors. White. Oh, this one's cute too. I've been wanting a new crossbody bag. Oh look, they even have it in a purple. But I actually saw this. Oh, this one's cute. This is like the double zip Louis that I wanted. Oh, I actually really like this one like in a tan color <gasps> they have it in black is that the same purse it is how cute they have all their Easter stuff out super cute these little ballerina bunnies so adorable I can't I still can't get into the gnomes like the gnomes I can't do but everything else is so cute and I love the flower arrangements oh look that one's $80 <laughs> But we saw some at Marshall's that were super cute for like not very expensive to decorate the house. I love it. Oh look, this one's pretty. This one's 40. Oh, that one's pretty too. That one's 80? 60. <laughs> no. The tulips is what we saw at Marshall's. I love tulips. Tulips are so super pretty. It's actually the flower that I wanted for our wedding. <laughs> I don't think you can sue when you chose to sit in it. <laughs> Five hundred dollars though. That's cute. Andres is. No, you can't see him over there looking for a shirt. I am going to get this purse. I think it looks really. <gasps> What is that? Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize I had that. But I think it looks really good on me. It's just black. It's a double zipper like the Louis Vuitton purse that I wanted. So I'm going to get this. It fits across my body really well too. And it's $15. You can't beat that. So I'm going to get that. I've been wanting, like I said, the there's a Michael Kors one that I've seen a few people wearing. And the Gucci bag. But I couldn't find it online and the Louis Vuitton didn't fit me across my body very well. So I'm gonna get this one for 15 instead. I didn't see anything else here that was like super interesting. All the TikTok girlies had Hello Kitty stuff galore. Nothing, no good makeup, no, nothing uh, here at my TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So maybe next time. Yeah, I was pretty disappointed in my TJ Maxx. Nothing exciting, not even one Hello Kitty thing, not one. 
I didn't find the creme shop, lip balm, eye masks, rollers, nada, nothing. <laughs> um, Andres found a belt and I did get the little purse. He needed a belt big time since he's lost all that weight. None of his stuff fits him anymore either. Um, but yeah, we didn't, we didn't even find, they didn't even have good Crocs there either. So I'm gonna have to figure out something for Emmy since we didn't find her any clearance Crocs. Um, but now we are going to Ulta because I wanna smell this Valentino perfume that I also sell on TikTok. If there's one thing that I'm gonna be, it's influenced by other people, so. We're gonna do that and then go get the girls. The busiest. People shop here all the time, baby. This is the perfume. I think it's this one. Born in Roma. I, I have took a picture of it. Let me look. Yeah. Donna, born in Roma. Oh, de parfum. I wanna get my initial reaction. <laughs> I swear I saw like five people say that this is like the most intoxicating perfume ever. <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't say that. But this is good. I don't know if this I love it. it. I'm gonna spray it on myself and go. My bonnet spray. <laughs> okay. I'll see if I like it. Because it's not cheap. It's like $120 for a small bottle. Mm -hmm. But. Everyone said it's amazing, so I'm like, my Baccarat is number one. I love my Baccarat Rouge 540, but that bottle is $480. So if I can find something cheaper that's just as intoxicating, let's go with that one. You like them? They're cute, right? I'm gonna put them on now. Let me see your current ones that you have on. We're a croc-loving family. Let me see these. Oh, no, I'm going to Thank you. We are. She got baby shark ones from Santa. And Those are super cute. Ones. Okay, here, if you want to wear these, you need to go. Um, she look, these look bigger. Um, these mm -hmm. Go so put really these where they go, please, and then come back, okay? <laughs> yeah, hers, well, hers can go upstairs. It's because In fact, Maddie, why don't you go look for all her shoes? Chunky Bear, what pair of Crocs you want down here? They make bigger sizes because the inside is small. Yeah. That's why they look big. Oh, looks so cute! You're welcome. Some of them, most of them are open. Cute from the left Oh, those are cute, Mama. And they fit. So many. Those are cute. Show Emmy, show Emmy. Let me see. Oh, those are cute. They're like really cute. Give me the cross. These ones are for Autumn. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't even see the size. These are for you, Mama. Pink. Oh, how cute. My that looks cute like pink. Oh, my God. I like them. You like them? Yeah. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. You're welcome. They look so cute. Let's see them on. Oh my god. It's really fluffy with socks on. Oh my god, so cute. They fit you? Mm-hmm. But my hands are really That's like the size the of my crocs. Yeah. I first need to like that one. Take your socks off, Mama. Okay. So it's easier? Because her other ones are a 13, I think. Daddy. Maddie, do not touch this one yet. The other ones are kind of open, so we're just going to have to sit down and wait. Yeah. Yeah. I say like 10 minutes to do it. Hey, Google. Those are cute. You and Sissy are twins. <laughs> it's not fitting. No, it's so you can see like, I don't know. I think trash. Oh, there's dog fur all over the floor. She really likes those. And they fit her, surprisingly, so it worked out well. So I got some pink ones. Fuchsia pink. I have glitter, light pink. Fuchsia pink. We are. She liked the tie dye, and they fit everybody else, so they worked out great. Oh, we do. I figured out. I have seven pairs of Crocs now. How many you have, baby? Daddy has that one over there. <laughs> He's got navy and now the gray ones. How many you have, baby? Uh, yeah, two. Two. That's Your camos, tie dye. I have Maddie. Four. No, not the ones that fit you. The ones that fit me. Four. Two. 
No. You have your Wonder the, Woman. The mini, um, the mini Mouse ones, cool. they still fit me. They still have like this much more. The ones that we got from the Disney Bruce? five yeah. years ago fit you? Yes. Oh no, they were Emmy. They were Sissy's old ones, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, okay. Um, the Google. Cruise ones, they still fit me. Cancel timer. No. no. Not the ones that you oh, got. What Cruise ones? Um, the sandal ones. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, those are old. Autumn, come here, mama. They pretty much all fit me. But yours are her hand me down, that's why. Autumn has two of them. Two. The pink ones. And then your tie dye, right? Yeah, but the ones that don't fit me anymore, the cruise ones, they don't fit. The Minnie Mouse? Yeah, they don't. Everybody, where are your Shinky? It's still over there. How many pairs do you have, Mama? She has one pair. She has a lot. <laughs> She has yeah, the so baby shark, Just the three litter years. ones, and then she has that one, so like three. No, but her Minnie Mouse ones, too. Oh, yeah, four. Oh, yeah. The, the hand-me-downs from Autumn. She has more than Emmy. We are croc. I, we have a lot of crocs. We, we spent about, like, $600. Actually, more. Actually, you're right. Like Probably 2, more than that. Like $3,000. $2,000. Would you go for, like, $600? <gasps> yeah, those are so Cute. Like, why am I? Those are so cute, Mama. Those are size five. Ready for five. Okay, two things. I got lights for my car, which I'm super excited about. Second, I went Kupani. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. I switched over my purse. I'm very excited because this purse is super cute. It was literally everything that the Louis Vuitton was supposed to be, but of course this was $15 and the Louis Vuitton was uh, $1,400 or something like that. But I was going to buy it for myself because I have not bought a Louis. You guys know I used to do tax time purses. My camera keeps flipping. Tax time purses every single tax season when I was working at H&R Block, but I haven't been at H&R Block in the last several years. And prior to that, I had too many children to even worry about it. And I stopped buying luxury purses. Well, I'd been at my job for a year and for my birthday, I went to go look at a Louis Vuitton bag and I really loved it. It was the double zip, just like this. It kind of split in the middle here. Very similar crossbody. But my biggest thing is because I'm a bigger person, if the crossbody actually hits my hip area or if it's like stuck up here by my boob. And I don't like it. Like, I don't want it up here. <laughs> if I want that, I'll do a across the chest bag or something. I didn't, that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted a crossbody. So then I saw Michael Kors made one very similar double zip like this that had the like waff, um, what is it? The W bag or whatever, however they call it. I'd seen a few girls with even a pink one. It was like the brown typical classic Michael Kors logo and everything, but then it had pink lining and stuff on it. But it must be an older style bag. I haven't been able to find it. Maybe at like the outlets. I haven't carried a Michael Kors in a very long time. So. I really don't care about brand anymore. I care now more about the comfort, the wear of it, and truthfully, I'm so bad with my bags now. I don't even know that I'd wanna carry a Louis around anymore except my Neverfull or whatever because I just toss it wherever when I'm at work. I roll it up and stuff it in under my desk area and like, I don't know, I just am not very good about taking care of them anymore. So I don't know that I would wanna spend that money on the Gucci version or even the Michael Kors. 15 bucks works great for me. So I actually really like it so far. I packed it nicely. I have my coupons and stuff on one side, receipts and everything. In the middle I have my cards um, and then I have my, what's in here? Yeah, more cards. And then on the other side I have my cash wallet which you guys know I've been using. So I did use my household budget today. I went couponing because I probably won't have time this week. I may, if I find more deals, I may go again on Thursday. I'm off, but I really wanted to get some stuff before they sold out and they actually had already sold out of quite a bit of it. So I ended up getting, let me show you here again, by the time you guys see this, these deals, honestly, because I follow so many couponing girlies on TikTok. They just show me over and over, and I, I literally will copy the deals that they do. They'll, they'll be like, this week at Walgreens, I did this, this, and this, and got this back, and I'm like, looks good to me. I go and do the exact same thing, and I get the exact same amount back. So, Tide was $12.99. The only thing I'm bummed about 
I don't think I did it right, right, because I was supposed to spend $45 and get a $15 extra care book, and instead I got the spend 30, get 10, so I'm missing $5 in extra care bucks somewhere. I don't know if I missed a few cents because I thought if you could do the 98% rule, but I could be wrong. You may have had to surpass the $45, and in that sense, I did not, so I missed out on five bucks. Totally my fault, but I got the Tide that had a $3 off digital coupon. I got the Downy uh, scent beads. These were $6.99, and if I'm not mistaken, Hi, Downey, this gave me $2 off when I don't think it was supposed to. So it attached to it, which is cool. And then I got the Gain, the smaller Gain. This was $6.99 and I had a dollar off digital coupon. And it's just, you sign up for the CVS app and that's where you get them. And then I got three of these exact same Pantene. I got two shampoos and one conditioner. I know Pantene's not the greatest, but again, when you have five girls in your family, all with long, thick hair, I use different shampoos for Emmy. Sometimes if I'm just detangling, I'll use Pantene on her hair just for detangling, but I use a more rich, more moisturizing shampoo on her hair. But when you have four other girls that will use the same shampoo, we go through it fairly quickly. So the Pantene, this size bottle was three for 18. And I had a $5 off coupon, digital coupon. And then I had a three off of 10 hair product. So that was a really good deal. And then I had a $4 off my entire purchase that CVS just texted to me or something. So all in all, I had uh, $22.42 in extra care bucks, and I thought I was going to get $15 back, so I paid $4.93 out of pocket cash. I gave a $20, and I got back my change, so I spent $4.93 today out of my pocket, got all these products, and I have a $10 extra care buck for next week to use, and a $20 off your next purchase, which the only way you can use the $20, 20% off your purchase is if you're buying full price items. So depending on what kind of like laundry deal or hair care deal or whatever they have next week or even toothpaste deal, it all has to be regular price. You can use the 20% off coupon. So, I mean, that kind of stinks because like I said, I should, I thought I spent it was $44.97, so if I had spent three cents more, I would have got back $15 in extra care bucks, but it is what it is. Not a big deal at all. I mean, for literally under $5 out of my pocket, I got back all of that. I got all that stuff. Three things of shampoo and conditioner, two laundry detergents, and the scent beads for $5. I will take it. So that was my deal for the week. Very exciting stuff, I know. The other thing is I have um, a Walgreens, this has to be used by the second, which is Thursday. See, so maybe I'll do Walgreens later in the week, but a $5 register reward. So I haven't quite figured out Walgreens as much as I figured out CVS, so I will have to figure that out a different day, but I really wanted to get it done tonight so that I could have it done for the week super exciting we ended up with leftovers I had leftover well the girls had ramen for dinner that's what they wanted and Andres and I split the leftovers that I had from Roadhouse yesterday which was also really good so now I'm gonna go home and get everyone's hair and everything done for the week uh, well not for the week but since they start school like the start of the week we had laundry and everything done and then I have some taxes to work on exciting stuff I know <laughs> Like we're done before we even started So if this is the end now, baby Know that I gave him my all I believe in us I won't give up on you I will be holding on for life Hope you believe in us Please don't give up on me At least give me a try Cause you're the best thing The best thing
Cause I'm 